We find ourselves today in the first of the Shloshes Yimei Hagbala, the first of the three days of boundary making, the three days of preparation prior to Matan Torah that already B'nai Yisrael had the order and the requirement to prepare themselves for Matan Torah and to do so by creating boundaries, by creating a fence and backing away from our Sinai, from the mountain where HaKadosh Baruch Hu was going to descend and give Moshe Rabbeinu on behalf of B'nai Yisrael the Torah. And while the Briska Rav and explains based off of the Rambam that it is similar to the concept of Kabul Shabbos, where one fulfillment of such is to prepare for Shabbos and be anticipating and waiting for Shabbos, being ready for Shabbos to come to us. That is a matter of covet of honor, and there's an element of honor that is showed to a specific guest or situation when we are ready and we are greeting that with preparation. And so explains the Briskarov so too when it comes to the Shloshis system Hagbala, that preparation that we do, preparing ourselves for Kabbalah Satorah so, shows a certain kavod, a certain chashivas, some significance and honor to what we are about to achieve of receiving the Torah, the excitement that is in the air. However, there's an additional aspect as well which can be understood because what was done during the Shloshis Yimei Hagbala, it was the separation, it was the distancing ourselves from the mountain, the creating of the fence of the boundaries as mentioned previously. And when we talk about Kedusha, talk about sanctity and holiness, it needs to be resting upon a place. It needs to be, we need to be ready to prepare to accept that Kedusha. If the Kli is not created, then the Kedusha has nowhere to be Chal, the Kedusha has nowhere to be. Kedusha, by definition, Hamavdil ben Kodesh the Chol, the one who separates between Kodesh the Chol, is when we do things that we are different because they are Kadosh, they are holy. It is, by definition, categorically different. And that requires boundaries. That requires a space which can contain within it that level of Kedusha, which is, of course, what Torah and Mitzvah is all about. When we accept upon ourselves Torah and Mitzvot, Na'asev and Nishra, we will do whatever it takes to create that kli, to create that sanctity, that kedusha. We will perform the mitzvot with all of the restrictions that come along with keeping the Torah. That, as restricting as it is, in, in, that we know that a ben chorin, someone who is free, is only someone who is a ben Torah. Because ultimately that restriction creates that freedom. That restriction is what contains the, is what creates the kli that contains the space to be able to withhold and to receive that kedusha. That what was, was what was done three days prior to Matan Torah, Hashem instructs the Jews, make these boundaries to give me a space to remain and a space to be received. During these shloshes in Hagbala, we do the same. We do a cheshbon and nefesh. We look at our own lives and recognize the boundaries which need to be made, not as a cold negative response, but as an opportunity to create a space for that in just two more nights. We, when we come to Leil Matan Torah, we have a place to receive that Torah within our lives to contain that Kedusha this coming Shavuos.